Hey everybody, welcome to The Daily Dose. We are taking all of August to hit reset, which is perfect because it's the middle of the year, you're getting ready to go back to school, you just came back from vacation, your brain is, is fried, your skin is fried. So August is the process by which we put on <laughs> We put on spiritual aloe vera. Oh, that's nice. what we're going to do. That's, cute. that's what we're going to call this. So this week, we're going to look at hitting reset digitally. In fact, you taught a class. This is Trent Jenkins, everybody. It was great. Hey. I loved it. Um, you taught a class called Digital Detox. And so we're going to spend some time this week unpacking a lot of what, of what we talked about. And today, the term that you just told me was leftovers. So, yeah. So I'm curious to know, what does leftovers have to do with digitally detoxing? <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's kind of a funny way to start. You know, ultimately, I'd say, how is digital, though, part of our spiritual lives? I'd just say, is it a tool that you typically use throughout your day? Then probably it impacts us spiritually. And so that's kind of where we're talking about it. But leftovers, uh, let me put it back at you, Kurt. Um, if you're going to a wedding, 300 people, do you want to be the first in the buffet line or the last? I admittedly want to be the first. Yeah, I mean, obviously we want to get our food first. We're hungry, probably, haven't eaten. Uh, but why else? Because if there's something good, it's probably going to go quickly. And if I'm at the back of the line, I might I might not get it. Yeah, you get the leftovers. Get the leftovers yeah. you, get, you get the leftovers. Get the leftovers. Yeah. And I think a lot of times there's an element in our personal lives where we end up giving God and others the leftovers because we've given our phone and this demand for this device our best. Hmm. Our best time, our best hours, our best energy often goes into this one device. I love in uh, Exodus 23, 19, it says, Bring the, the best of the first fruits of your soil to the house of the Lord your God. This whole concept of first fruits, though, isn't just about tithing. It's a matter of what it is that we're going to be giving God. It could have been just, hey, give God 10%, but it was first fruits. Because ultimately, we know that if we start putting all the different rocks in our lives, uh, we realize we'll oftentimes give God the last. Hmm. I mean, let's just be honest. A lot of times, our families often get the last of our efforts. We give our best to uh, our workplace or different things. And so we start prioritizing these elements. Yeah. And so there's this crazy statistic. 86% of smartphone users check their phones as the first thing they do when they wake up. That's I'm, I'm in that category. Well, I should say I was. You, uh, you were. I was until I, until I watched your class. I, there was, I was thinking through a couple of things. So I get an alarm clock. Mm -hmm. Right, and then I don't even have to check my phone. But I do, I, I, I do still have my alarm on my phone, I turn it off, and then what I'm doing right now since I watched it is I say, good morning to God. Sometimes Huge change. It's, sometimes it's a longer conversation, sometimes it's a good morning. And then I try and get up and go make breakfast before I lose myself to my device. Yeah, there's an ultimately the factor that we're either putting ourselves in a reactive response or proactive planning. When we see this element, we're giving it our priority and we're letting it dictate what our next step is because we automatically go into a mode of responding to what this phone is putting into our world. So you said, okay, you said reactive response versus proactive planning. Yeah, it's- Why is that? It's these different motivations. We'll talk a little bit more about it tomorrow, about gamification, but on this side, it's a fear. A fear, you know, they call it FOMO. A fear of missing out. Fear of missing out, yeah. Yeah, so it's kind of like Pavlov's dog. The, the whole experiment where a dog just presses a button and a treat comes out. Now that dog is just going to keep on going back at it over and over because it keeps on getting a treat. The unfortunate part is, is that the best thing for that animal? Or is it the best thing for us? That's and whether or not we want it or not, and what... The fact is, is that we're getting an instant response, instant gratification, instant reward. And oftentimes in our relationship with others, and especially with God, it's a matter of a daily discipline so that we can have that element of having patience and waiting on him. And we can't do that if we're constantly putting ourselves in a reactive mode. Yeah, that's good. So I just end this particular morning with saying, what's your priority? And if you'd say it's God and your family, does your time dictate that? The amount of time on your phone in the morning 
does it reflect what it is that is your priority as well? And before you join us tomorrow, before you see us, we want you to wake up and say good morning to God before you say good morning to us on your device. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow.